Hello everyone and welcome back to Cabin Ceramics, inspiring your journey with clay. So it is autumn here in the UK and I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous pumpkin. For this pumpkin project you could use either stoneware clay or you could use porcelain and if you don't have access to a kiln you could use air drying clay. You're going to need some standard pottery tools which includes a knife and some scoring tools and I'm going to do something really interesting with this tangerine. You'll need a ball of clay about this size and all you need to do to begin with just give it a little wedge and then you just need to squish it into a ball once you've done that just take in a clay knife and just cut it into half so you want two equal portions the way I do it is I just take a look first and try and see if they look equal in size again we're going to roll these two pieces into a ball. As you can see, one looks bigger than the other, so I'm going to take some clay away from this one and add it to this side. And I find this is the best way to make my pumpkins. And what we're going to do is going to roll these into balls and we're going to make two pinch pots. So you want a nice firm ball. What you need to do is just roll your hands, roll the palm of your hands together. You can do the same with the other side one. Okay, you need the ball of your thumb. And what you need to do is just press, press down. But as you're pressing down, you're also cupping your hand. I'm going to move the clay around the thumb. So this is how I make all my pinch pots. You want to be very gentle when you're doing this. You don't want to go too thin around here so this is why it's really important to just press down as much as you can. And keep pressing. It's moving the clay to the side. I'm going to do the same with the other ball. I'm going to smooth all that out with your thumb. So the idea is to eventually join these together. And the reason why you can't just roll up a ball of clay and then stick in it and then stick it in the kiln is because it will explode. It's time to bring in the secret tool which is the tangerine so I'm going to use this as a former and um, I do this with all my pumpkins so what you need to do is take the half you've just made into a pinch pot and place it over the tangerine and we're just gonna pat down we're just gonna pat 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 this just opens up the pinch pot and I find this is the best way to make the pumpkin a little bit wiggle you don't want to leave it too long on the clay because it will stick so you need to get it out straight away and then look at that let's move that in a little bit more do the same with the other one Pop in the tangerine. I've left the two pinch pots to firm up, so I've left them for about 10 minutes because we don't want these to go too dry. We don't want them to go leather hard, but we don't want them too soft that we can't put the two together. So I'm gonna show you now. This is can be the tricky bit. Um, what I usually do is just spray the top with a little bit of water first. And then I'm just going to use my knife just to score the top. These two are going to go together. I'm 
When you do this, you need to do this really gently. So you put the two halves together, like that. And then we're just gonna rotate and we're gonna slightly push them together. So <laughs> it looks like a peach at the moment. So we don't want it to be a peach. We want it to be a pumpkin. So I'm just going to press and push together. So don't push right in. Don't don't use a lot of pressure. You just want slight pressure with your hands, with your fingertips. Use your fingertips to just push. Start pushing the clay in. And what I also do, you get your thumb push forwards and backwards so you're almost rubbing them together but at the same time you're pushing in as well if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and you can also press the little alarm bell so you never miss any of my videos okay that's starting to look good and you also want to just start to round with your hands as well. Now sometimes what I do to join the pieces, which I think I will do with this one, is you can add a coil all the way around. And actually, I think I'll show you how to do that. So you just get a little bit of clay. Just roll it, roll it into all the clay together in your hands. What you need to do is place it over the join and then use your finger to smooth, smooth it out. And look, that's creating a nice ball shape now. Look, look how that is starting to look. So we're getting that join nicely together. You just want to smooth it in your hand again. And you can also, a little bit wet just roll with your hand so we have now created a perfect ball shape and this is going to make such a lovely pumpkin now it's not easy making the pinch pots it's, it is it is a little bit tricky putting together but i find the more you practice this the more you get better at making pinch pots and the more you get better at making these balls of clay for pumpkins. This one's going to be bigger, isn't it? This is going to be bigger than this one. Give it a little pat on your hand as well. Keep rolling. So we just want to try and get rid of that seam. And that is looking good. I'm really pleased with it. And you can hear, you can hear that that's hollow. And that's what we want because you do not want this to explode in the kiln. Just give it a little pat as well. Come on with your hands. So we want to decide which way is the top and which is the bottom. I quite like the look of this. So what you need to do is just very gently just tap onto the table. That's going to be our bottom now, the bottom of the pumpkin. And once you've got your flat bottom, you're going to need to poke a hole in here. Again, this is so the piece does not explode in the kiln. So we need to get some air through here. Just poke a hole through. Pop. There we go. Give it a little wiggle. And that should be 
big enough. So the next stage is to start carving in the lines. So these lines that look like this. A typical look of a pumpkin. What I do is I use my fingernail. So I'm just gonna go across and over. So starting in the middle, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go down. Start in the middle, I'm gonna go down. If you're gonna go and ha if you're gonna have a go at this project at home, please, please send me pictures. That'd be really nice. And that's why I'm doing this because, you know, I have my journey with clay, and I'm learning all the time about clay and different techniques. And I'd also like you to share with me your journey with clay. That would be really lovely if you could. Have a go at making this project and send me some pictures let me know what's gone well and what's not gone well okay just need a fingernail i think that's the best way to do it to begin with and then going right down And look at that, that is that is a lovely pumpkin shape. That looks very pumpkin like already. Got a little bit too code away. So if you do make a mistake, just get a wooden tool and just smooth it out. Or you could just use your finger. So this wooden tool, I just love it. Especially for for carving. I'm going to do some thicker lines and some thinner lines because you would see that on a pumpkin. And you're going all the way to the bottom. So the next thing that we need to do is make the stem. You just need a little bit of, of clay and um, just in a sausage shape. Um, it's probably a little bit too big so I'm going to take that clay away and mold into a sausage. Bang on the table so we have a bottom and then squeeze that in. So it's going to go on but it's going to go, you're going to just pull this, pull this up twist at the top twist at the top and then you can either leave it like that or you I like to roll it over and then I will add a little bit of detail by using this this little crazy little thing it's got like little claws on it I don't even know what you call it so just scrape that across and then we've got the stem and then underneath then what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously score and slip the bottom um, again. Just a little bit of water, a little bit of water on here. I'm going to score, score on the top. A bit more water. And then place on top give it a little wiggle and as you wiggle you'll feel it will start to, to stick it'll just hold in place and that is done so using the wooden tip again this will help the stem to stick to pumpkin you want to make sure that your stem stays upright all you need to do just get a little stick push it up and hold it in place just like that. I'm only going to leave that there for a few minutes. So I have got a very big leaf cutter. Um, so if you've got anything that's too big like that, don't worry. You just get a little bit of clay. It's a rolling pin. So I want to still make this quite thick. So roll out a little tiny piece of the stoneware. So you just use the top just going to take it to there and press down and 
and what you need to do is you could use use the wooden tool for this use the wooden tool just put the line down the middle a few lines here so making it leaf like and then just pinch 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 and then all we need to do now is bring the pumpkin back add a little little tiny bit of water so we're gonna slip and score i'm just gonna add it mm, i think that will look quite nice this is only a tiny little leaf This will now dry for about a week and a half before going into the kiln for a bisque firing. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.